Hello everyone, I'm Raymond Chang, the CEO of Nakamichi USA. The rebirth of the Dragon audio system has made this year truly exciting and satisfying. A special note to everyone, I sincerely appreciate the immense passion and excitement around this remarkable system, a five-year endeavor. When the 500 limited edition units sold out in just 45 minutes, it made us realize that we had a potential game changer in our hands. A big thank you for those who took a leap and bought the system unseen and unheard. The exceptional feedback from reviewers and owners speaks volumes, affirming the product's worthiness of the legendary Dragon Emblem. And now let's dive into some of your questions. First question from William. Does Dragon do 120 Hz pass-through for Xbox and PS5? Yes, Dragon is the only plug-and-play system that features three HDMI 2.1 inputs. You can connect your higher bandwidth devices, such as your Xbox and PS5, directly to any of the inputs. The system can pass through 4K 120Hz, 8K 60Hz, Dolby Vision, DRR, ALLM, and other HDMI 2.1 features to an EARC compatible TV. Next up, we have a comment on Dragon subwoofers. Ken asks about the design thinking of going with the current subs versus going larger and a possible upgrade path. There are also other questions in relates to the best way to calibrate the subs. Our ultimate goal for Dragon was to create a design that strikes a balance between practicality, flexibility, and performance in different room configurations. One of our design pillars is to make sure that the system can be seamlessly integrated into any room environment. When designing a subwoofer cabinet, a certain bill or air volume is required, depending on the driver's size and specifications. The goal is to achieve optimum airflow that will yield the best acoustic performance. The bigger the drivers, the more air volume is needed, so the larger the cabinet needs to be. This was an important consideration when deciding on the size of the subwoofer drivers because if they were bigger, our subwoofer cabinets would have had to be meaningfully larger, making it challenging for them to fit into some living rooms. This would have gone against our design pillar of delivering an authentic 3D cinema surround experience to as many homes out there as possible. Despite this physical limitation, we were able to move the needle by creating our own proprietary dual opposing driver configuration, allowing four 8-inch subwoofers drivers to fit into two reasonably sized cabinets, bringing theater light based performance into most living rooms. While we're on the topic, let's talk about the importance of placement for a subwoofer. Optimum placement can meaningfully impact overall bass response. Achieving a balanced bass response requires playing around with placement due to room specific factors such as dimensions, surfaces, and even furniture placement. Room modes and standing waves can be influenced by subwoofer positioning, leading to frequency reinforcement or cancellation. Experimentation is key. Unfortunately, there is no one-size-fits-all placement solution. But thanks to the flexibility of our wireless subwoofers, you can tailor your setup to your specific room environment. For example, in our testing facility, a simple room about 15 by 20 foot, we discovered that placing the subwoofers angled in corners can boost base response by up to 6 dB, which is approximately double the perceived loudness. However, this enhancement may or may not work in your specific acoustic environment. Without going into too much detail, the subwoofer crawl method is a very popular way to find the ideal subwoofer placement position. And it's done by trial and error, especially consider that most rooms are not designed with subwoofers in mind. There are many, many articles and videos about this topic if you want to learn more about it. You can consider investing in subwoofer isolation pads or even isolation feed to improve bass performance. 
as it is best to contain the base within the room instead of leaking through your walls, windows, and floors. Decoupling the subwoofers from the floor often gives you tighter and cleaner base for carpeted rooms, hardwood floors, or any space that can easily rattle or vibrate. As for the possibility of developing a larger subwoofer as an enhancement or upgrade, uh, there is a survey link below. Please take a minute to help us fill it out. I assure you that your input will be a valuable factor in our decision-making process. We had various inquiries regarding Dragon's performance in rooms with a vaulted or angle ceilings or butterfly roofs. Depending on how your ceilings are vaulted, they may not be your best friend when it comes to object-based surround. As these ceilings may not reliably bounce sound back and you may not get the height effects you're hoping for. One of the advantages of Dragon is its extensive height channel optimization options. To adapt to any room even if you have a vaulted or angle ceiling. To start, Dragon surround speakers come with our exclusive perfect height mechanism with the outfiring drivers that can be rotated up to 180 degrees. You have the flexibility to experiment with different positioning and find the optimal angles for recreating the best height effects for your living space. Additionally, the system includes calibration settings that allow you to adjust the volume balance between the left and the right rear high speakers. To compensate for the uneven vaulted ceilings, you can further calibrate the system for the on-screen display by inputting the distance measured vertically between the main unit and the ceiling. Finally, our proprietary adaptive height dispersion technology tailors height effects to your listening environment. With three different modes to choose from, the processing technology expands and intensifies the height soundscape. For enhanced height performance, I always set it to HD Max. While everyone's sound preferences are different and there are no right or wrong settings, Try to play around with these and see which one sounds the best for your ears. What is my favorite thing about Dragon? Um, tough question. Nailing down the one thing I love most about Dragon is as challenging as picking the best movie in my Blu-ray collection. It's practically impossible because each movie holds its own special charm, right? From a hardware point of view, I love the seven air motion tweeters for the distinctive appearances, um, efficiency, clarity, fidelity, and accurate sound reproduction. These elements collectively add a new dimension to your music and movies, providing a layer of realism to instruments, surround effects, speech clarity, and much, much more. From a software perspective, I am very, very proud of how Dragon outshines other plug-and-play systems in rendering Dolby Atmos and DTSX tracks. Just trust me on this one. Dragon's advanced rendering capabilities allow you to experience sound where there are no speakers, creating an authentic cinema or AVR component speaker experience, but without the wires. In terms of acoustics, not only do the main unit and all the Dragon's wireless components blend in seamlessly, the 15 digital amplifiers provide plenty of juice or headroom. They're capable of delivering an immersive cinema experience, even when handling the most demanding movie soundtracks. Above all, if I must pick one thing and one thing only, what brings me the most joy and satisfaction is reading reviews and exploring forums. To hear firsthand, how Dragon transforms the lives of its owners. Dragon not only brings families together, but also wow your significant others, friends, and neighbors. The system offers much needed simplicity and flexibility that the market is looking for, while completely revolutionizing the entire family's entertainment needs encouraging them to rediscover their favorite music, movies, and games as if they are experiencing them for the very first time. As a product creator, this is the perfect pitch of visceral satisfaction. And now addressing the question that resonated the most with our international community, when will Dragon be available outside of the US? 
As many are aware, our Dragon system weighing approximately 150 pounds exceeded the weight limits set by UPS, FedEx, and eBay's global shipping program. I think DHL is 154, so we're really pushing the envelope there. Presenting challenges for international shipments because of its substantial size and weight. Since the product launch, we have redesigned our packaging twice. In this quarter, we plan to incorporate our final learnings into a new packaging design, aiming to optimize shipping efficiency while ensuring the best protection for the components, even when the system is required to travel extensive distances. We appreciate your patience and we, as we work to improve the global accessibility of our products. Stay tuned for more updates on this effort. And that's a wrap, I believe. Once again, a big thank you to all those who continue following and supporting us. It truly means the world to the whole team. Your words of encouragement will continue to support us as we continue our journey to redefine audio expectations. Until next time, stay tuned for more exciting updates.